Henry Campbell. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. On behalf of my colleagues, I would also wish to join in the tribute that the Prime Minister has paid. We would also wish to send our best wishes to an injured soldier in Afghanistan from Northern Ireland who was injured last week. Mr. Speaker, every week there is £600 million in fuel duty flowing into the Treasury from hard pressed motorists right across the United yeah, yeah, Kingdom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is £600 million each week since he said a fuel duty stabiliser was a sensible, balanced policy that protects families from big increases in the oil price. He has talked about a fuel duty stabiliser, he's promised it, he's answered questions on it. When is he going to introduce it? Well, I don't believe in making tax changes outside a budget. I think that is the proper way we do things in this country. I do think that there is a very strong case for looking at this area because I want to see a situation where, uh, when oil prices rise, we try and help motorists and share the burden with them. The Honourable Gentleman quite rightly reminded me of things that I have said. I perhaps could remind him of something he said when, in his manifesto, he stood on, we must rein back public spending and the key priority of the next government must be reducing debt. I agree with that. 